San Antonio police today staying tight lipped on whether there is a third suspect in the killings of Savannah Soto, Matthew Guerra and their unborn son. In a press conference, SAPD Chief William McManus did confirm investigators are looking into this portion of surveillance video, which appears to show a towel tossed into the hands of Ramon Preciado, presumably by a person inside his truck. 36 hours after the arrest of father-son suspects Ramon and Christopher Preciado, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus and Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez provided an update to this now weeks-long saga. The gun, believed to be, in, be the murder weapon, has been recently recovered from the suspect's home. SAPD yesterday filed an additional charge against the son for abuse of a corpse and an additional charge against his father for altering a corpse. Both men remain at the Bear County Jail. But will a third person be charged? Police contend this December 21st surveillance footage shows the Preciados moving Matthew Guetta's car to an apartment complex on Danny K Drive in the middle of the night with the bodies of Guetta and a nine months pregnant Soto inside. The couple killed, according to an arrest affidavit, during a drug deal gone bad. The security video includes this sequence in which Ramon Preciado appears to be tossed a towel from someone else inside his truck. McManus today confirmed that, that's something we're still looking into. It's something that's been brought up in conversation about this. So we're still looking into that. Asked directly whether Christopher Preciado's mother has been questioned by investigators in recent days, McManus gave this buttoned up response. I'm going to leave that question unanswered. Yesterday, Gatta's father, Gabriel, alluded that more developments are coming. I, I'm not going to say anything right now, but, but um, I don't think there's, uh, I don't think this is the end of it right now. And stay with us for the very latest developments in this case. KSAT is keeping you informed on all of our platforms on air, KSAT.com, KSAT Plus, and on the KSAT YouTube channel.